Today I'm going to teach you how to add an HTML signature to Gmail. And just so you know, how are we going to do it? Well, HTML is basically this. This is my signature, this is the signature that I, I use it, in an email account that I have, and it is completely in HTML. So what usually happens here is that when I copy this signature, for example, and I am going to add it to Gmail, I basically come here to settings and click on see all settings. We will go directly to the signatures section that we find right here, where in the general tab, we scroll down to where it says signatures, which says no signatures, and we click on create new. Here we can name it personal signature or whatever you want to call it. We click on create, and here I am going to paste that code. And what is going to happen? I go down here, I click save changes, and when I click compose and enter any email like hello at gmail.com, I will select my signature here. And it shows me my personal signature, but it directly displays all the code meaning that my signature does not appear with my images, my social media, or anything like that. So what happens with that? Gmail doesn't recognize HTML. So what are we going to do? You are going to search on Google for something called the HTML tester or HTML test, or test HTML, or however you want to phrase it. The tool I always use is this one from Jimdo called HTML tester. Why do I do this? Because the others don't work for me, but you can try them. This one works and this one didn't work for me. These two, but the one I always use is this one. What happens? You are going to put the HTML code here exactly as it is, all the code just as you have it, and you will click on convert. The same goes here on this other page. What I am referring to is that you do not need to use. I'm giving you the one that I recommend, but I suggest you use one that really works for you, and it should appear as follows. Once you click on convert, the signature should appear as it actually does. So what we are going to do is press Ctrl A, not just Ctrl, but Ctrl A, and everything will be selected automatically. Tools like this won't let you just press Ctrl A because sometimes when we do that, you see that everything is selected like this. So we need to make sure we are within the signature box. And once we click, I'm clicking here in the blank space, I press Ctrl A, and then it will select everything. So always keep that in mind. We will do this with this one. Simply press Ctrl A, then Ctrl C, or right click and copy. Do not select copy image, because if you click copy image, you will only copy this central image, which will be your profile picture or something similar. Do not copy in general. That's why I tell you to press Ctrl C. Once you have this, we will go back to the signatures, close this here, go to settings, view all settings again, scroll down to where it says signatures, and again, we will delete the previous one because we no longer need it. We will create a new one and name it updated signature and click create. Once here, we will press Ctrl V or right click and paste. So we press Ctrl V and you can see that the signature has automatically pasted with the format it should have. Now, once we do this, we will click save changes and I will show you here that if I click compose and put, well, I don't need it for an email, but I put the signature here, updated signature. You can see that it is already here completely and functional. So if you send an email, in fact, I will send an email to another one of my emails. So I'm going to put here at gmail.com and I'm going to write here is an hello, thank you, and just send. Then I'm going to check that email. You can see that it has already arrived. Hello, thank you. This is how it would reach me. I mean, from the other person's side. This is how it would reach them. This is the signature. So everything is here completely functional. The WhatsApp number is linked. The email is linked so that you can send an email. The website is linked. That is, if I click on the website, it will automatically redirect me to the web page. You can link to social media in the same way. If I click on Facebook, it loads the Facebook page. However, you need to ensure that the links are properly connected because if the links to each social media icon are not correctly linked, it obviously won't load. You might find that when you click, it opens a blank page or someone else's social media, or on Facebook, it opens Instagram, and on YouTube, it opens TikTok, which wouldn't make sense. You will have to adjust that yourself, but at this point, we won't need to consider that HTML code anymore because we already have the signature as it is. I recommend that you also copy the code and save it somewhere, and when you need to add it to another email client, you can do the same, test it on a page like this, launch it, and once you have it, copy and paste it into any email client. So with that said, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it has been helpful, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments section. See you bye bye.